What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. That's right, look, I'm doing refried beans. Tell me what you guys think about that thumbnail right there. The real reason I made this, because it's like super simple, right? And I want to show you guys just, you know, another option so that we can have these. You don't always have to have them out of the can. You know, hey, you can make them from canned beans. You can make them from dry beans. They just like super simple and nobody really makes them on their own. And you can add this to like whatever your bi-weekly, tri-weekly, you know, meals just to add this to it. Hey, so with that, I don't want to over talk it. Let me just go over these ingredients and show you guys just how easy it is to make refried beans. Okay, so look, these are the limited amount of uh, ingredients that we're gonna use, right? I'll just start off by just showing, look, gotta have cheese. We all put cheese on top of the refried beans, right? We got oregano, paprika, we got a lime. I'm gonna cut this in half and use half of this, you know, the juice of one half. We got a jalapeno right here. I'm gonna go ahead and dice this down. I saved this for last, you know what I mean? Uh, Cause I wanna put some gloves on. I always end up touching my face after, you know, dicing the jalapeno. Here's an onion right here, look. I used like a little bit of, this was a, a smaller onion. I already went ahead and diced these already, but you can see the size, cause we gonna need those. And then of course, you gotta have the star, right? And this is just from my local grocery store right here, Stater Brothers. This is just a one pound bag, pinto beans. But the thing is, I'm only gonna use half of them. Now, we got salt, pepper. You know what, we gonna like taste it just to make sure that it tastes good, cause. It, that's the key to making great tasting food. You taste in increments as you go, and it'll always be, you know, just like flawless. And right here, instead of using, when we put the beans in our pot right here, right, instead of using water, we're gonna level it up with this chicken broth right here. We're gonna get that flavor, folks. And then right here, look, I'm gonna use my masher. This is what we're gonna do to mash them all. And I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do everything in my cast iron skillet. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead and get yourself a pot with a lid, right? As you can see, I got the beans in there. That's a half a pound of beans. Already sorted through them. Got rid of an ugly bean. You know what I mean? Didn't find any rocks and so on. Now, get yourself your chicken broth. Look, that's the 33% less sodium. This is where we're going to get our flavor from, folks. Some people going to use water, but we're going to use this chicken broth. And we're going to cover it at least two inches above the beans. Add your uh, onions and then your oregano. And listen, okay, look, I'm going to give it just a pinch of salt and then a few grinds of fresh black pepper right and then what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and mix it because that oregano is going to sit right on top now once that's done we want to go ahead and put the lid on the top then we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to bring it to a boil first right once it starts to simmer we're going to reduce it down to a simmer and then we're going to go for about an hour and a half to two hours them after an hour and a half and they weren't quite ready so it went for a total of two hours here you can see this right this is how they're going to look I'm just gonna take one of these whole ones and then we're just gonna check and I'm gonna smash it just to make sure that it, hey, that right there, you can see the way it's smashed. That's what you wanna look for right there, right? You want it to be able to like just mash down nice and easy. You can do it with your finger. I'm doing it politically correct, you know what I mean, right now, just cause I'm, you know, doing this for film. But I'm gonna be honest with you, usually I just take one, put it on a spoon, let it cool off, I take it and mash it. If it mashes my finger, I know it's right. Now we finna, I'm gonna just put this back. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my strainer. We're gonna strain some of this out and we're gonna go ahead and start putting it in our skillet. Now you remember we had them onions in there? Look, we wanna get it all, right? Cause once we start mashing or if you're using a immersion uh, blender, you want all of them flavors to be inside of your refried beans. Okay, so right off the back, I'm gonna set this right now for medium heat. Right, we're gonna get that going. I'm gonna also add my jalapenos. Hey, be careful y'all. Listen, when I dice these, I use gloves. Because what you guys don't see off the camera when I use jalapenos, I seem to always want to touch my face. Now, I didn't show the garlic earlier. Look, I'm using minced garlic. I didn't even mince this garlic. I just, you know, had some bought minced garlic. I had this in the refrigerator. And don't forget, all of the ingredients will be down in the description box below. Now, we're just going to sprinkle this little. I got it. Everybody make fun of the way I say it. I call it paprika. I know it's paprika. I got it. But that's just the way I say it, just like I say W sauce. Now, under medium high heat, what you wanna do is you wanna just like stir it a little bit, cause what we doing is we starting to fry the beans, them jalapenos and that garlic. Okay, look, had this going on on this medium high heat, right? Which is like, here it says 275 degrees. So this has been going on for about five minutes, right? You can hear it is starting to cook. We warming up the beans again. So you wanna get yourself one of these, get yourself like a masher, right? Look, this is the cool part right here. We are just gonna take it and we are just gonna go like that. 
This handle hadn't gotten hot all the way. And all you want to do is you just want to keep doing this until we get them all mashed. Now you can see as we mashing it, look at this. You see how it's getting thick, right? We're gonna need to put a little liquid in here. Now you remember we boiled everything in that chicken stock, so it's got the flavor from the onions, you know what I mean? A little salt and pepper. But listen, it's a lot of, lot of flavors that has married, married together, right? So we're gonna bring that close by, bring that back, and we're just gonna add, you know, just a little bit at a time, just to keep it nice and moist. Okay, so now look, I'm adding some of my liquid to it, right? Some of my broth. Now, don't worry if you put too much in here, no worries, right? Because we still under that medium high heat and we gonna keep continue to mash and cook down and under that heat, it'll start to steam and evaporate and it's gonna thicken up again. So adding that liquid also helps it just, you know, with the mashing process. Now, I gotta say this, if you guys have an immersion, you know, blender, right? You can go ahead and blend it and you can get that same texture, you know, that smooth, creamy look and uh, texture that you get, you know, from out of the can. But for me, knowing that we're going to eat this as a dip, that's how we're going to do this this way, right? I like for it to be a little bit on the chunkier side, and I like to see the bean goes great with them chips. Okay, so you guys can see, like, the, uh, the desired thickness that I like, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just move it like this so you can just see the texture. You see that? This is what I like. This is what I like to put on my plate, put it in burritos, even in my tacos, right? Now it's up to you. If you guys want it to be a little bit on the watery side, you can just go ahead and add yourself some of that broth that we cooked those beans in and we go from there. Now listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just garnish right here, put some of this cheese right here on the top. You know what I mean? Hey, cause you can't say refried beans without having no cheese, right? I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more on here. You know, you guys can put this on the individual bowls too. And then for garnish, I'm using green onion tops. And then what I did was I just chopped them down, you know, till they kind of like fine, just to give it some pop. And you know what, it's uh, Spanish food. So I'm gonna tell you right now, when you say green onions, you know you're saying refried beans, anything with that Spanish, you know, anything that's like Spanish, we'll just say that. So that's what it looks like. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you sit on here. I'm gonna let this cheese melt just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is we finna take a tape taste test and we finna get down, folks. Hey, so I want you guys to, you know, tell me what you think. Super easy, you can make this. And the one thing I forgot to say that makes it like really a selling point, it's great as a dip. Now check this out. I got some tortilla uh, chips. You see right here, I got my buddy right here, Kirby from Cooking with Kirby. Hey, he got his slogan, get my fat fat parents on. Hey, that's right here. Hey, he been rocking that for a minute. That's his slogan right there. Hey, so I don't want to over talk it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit this right now. Oh yeah, and I got to get some of this dip, right? So, ooh. Man, that's that you yeah. calling my name, maybe. Yeah, 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 sir. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let me just pick this up, get this going over the top. And cheers, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's on point. <laughs> hey, we're going to eat this up as an appetizer, and then I'm going to make a killer burrito, folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, just give me a minute. Let me take it all in. Hey, what I do like is the fact is, I didn't use a whole lot of sodium. Yeah. I even used the uh, chicken, uh, my chicken broth. That was a low sodium version of it. This is nice. For all of us that's watching our sodium, this right here is a little bit more on the healthy earth side. Flavor's on point though. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to add nothing. Oh no, this is it. Might wanna take these limes, you know, wedges and just a little bit. You know, just to brighten up. salsa to it. Right, right, right. I, I should've known that. I should've known that. So tell me what you guys think. You know what I mean? You saw it, you saw how easy it is to make. Then you find like a double a double use for it, right? You can also use it and put it out, especially with it being the football season, right? You can put it out for the, you know, as a dip. Hey, hands down, super easy. Got to put it in your rotation. And the fact that it don't have all that sodium in it, that right there is enough to just send it over the top, right? The flavor profile is right. Now, listen, I want to say thank you to Cooking with Kirby for stopping by, putting this little back hashtag validation on it hey other than that we good you guys make it let me know down in the comment section below what you think about it and listen if you're new to my channel let me just take this time to say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to like 
subscribe and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and with that being said me and curry about to open up these chips get them wide open and we finna watch the game we out of here peace